So you might be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone face ID is just not working. Now, whether it's on your iPhone or it's your iPad, face ID can randomly not work or it can show or say that it's disabled. So if we go and take a closer look at this, right? If we go and take a look at what some of these specific things could actually state, they could say something like face ID has been disabled. And the problem usually why these specific things come up like this is because there has been a random, you know, display issue going on within your iPhone. So if you make your way over to your iPhone settings here, and if you actually do go under face ID and passcode, you can see a little option here that says face ID has been disabled. And the reason that has happened is because the display that you have on your iPhone may be faulty or it may actually, or it is actually not an authentic display. So what that basically means is that your specific iPhone, the display and the camera on the front essentially just has a faulty display and it just is probably an aftermarket third party display and Face ID has been disabled. The only way to fix this on an iPhone or an iPad is to get the screen replaced by an authentic Apple dealer. So basically schedule an appointment within your Apple store and get this panel replaced, you know, for an actual panel and then Face ID will actually start working again. So that is how to fix this issue. Now, if for some reason it is not that issue, like if it doesn't show that Face ID has been disabled like this or whatever. Now, let's say your iPhone, usually Face ID was working and now it's randomly not working. It says it's disabled, but you can guarantee that your panel is fine. You may actually just have to update your phone. So just make your way over to your iPhone settings panel right here. Scroll down until you see general right here. Scroll until you see software update to the first or second option right here. So click on that. And then all you're going to have to do here is basically just update your phone. Now, the reason why this may work sometimes is because Apple may have pushed out a random update that may have broken certain things within your device. So it may look like it was a faulty thing, but it really wasn't. So really all you're going to have to do there is essentially just go through, update your phone, and that could very well end up fixing the problem for you as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.